Okay, so before we move on to our next section here, before we put that uh, the last part in, um, I want to talk to you about what you need for your ragtop. Uh, sometimes you might buy a bug that is missing some of the ragtop uh, mechanism, the sliders and whatnot. So, you know, they don't sell uh, most. Of, they don't sell the sliders or the mechanism. I at least haven't been able to find them new. Uh, you can find them used and uh, they go for a pretty uh, hefty price um, so anyways but they do sell the um, the aluminum rails uh, BFY sells those but uh, what I want to talk to you about is what we're doing here just make sure this is what you're gonna need here's the rear bow and we painted this on one side and uh, and this rear bow this goes in the back of the car you're gonna make sure you're gonna need this plate and this plate has a lip on it I don't know if you can see that here see that lip yeah that lip is going to be attached to to here that goes on this rear bow so you're going to need those two if you don't have this piece of metal uh, this piece right here you can probably make one but uh, we started painting the bows just to clean them up you don't really see this but we just kind of paint them up anyway to make it look a little bit nicer and for the actual the head the rag top uh, uh, material in general can glue to this a little bit better and slide on it or whatever so, um, like I said, you're going to need these rails. There are four pieces. You got two long ones and then these, these little ones. Um, now, when you take your rag top off, say you get the car and you want to take the rag top assembly off, uh, these little pieces in the back, towards the back of the car, they would come off first. You unscrew them, they would come off first. And then that's how you can take out the rag top assembly. You just slide it all the way back. Um, you can't take it off any other way. That's that's the best way to do it. Is you push the rag top uh, um, up, and then you can t you can just take these back pieces off, and then you can slide it back. So what we're going to do is with these uh, these aluminum pieces, we're going to get some Brillo pad and uh, just a regular you know cleaner, uh, or you can get some metal or aluminum cleaner, and you can. Uh, scrub these off. Just make sure after you finish cleaning these to wash your hands because your hands are going to get dirty and you do not want to touch the rag top, uh, the, um, the headliner material. So you're going to need those. There's four pieces for those. You can actually buy these if you, if you do not have them. Okay. And then for 56 to 63 bugs, there was a, it was a two-fold rag top. And this is what we're working on. Uh, and these are the pieces you have, the main pieces. Um, you have this back bow, then you have the front mechanism bow, the big one. Um, this is the one that closes and uh, and then opens the, the assembly. Um, you might find them a lot of times. They're missing rollers here. These usually stay on without a problem. See those rollers. But these on the ends, they usually come off. I don't know if you can see that here. What they'd sell is they have a kit. A rag top assembly kit, and you can get one of those uh, for 56 to 63 bucks. They sell these. If you can't find these, most of the time, like I said, it's these four in here in the center that 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 go missing. You could actually go to your local hardware store and get these nylon rollers. They sell those. If you can't find this kit, but uh, once again, we started painting these black. We polished off the aluminum a little bit here. Instead of painting the bows, paint all this black. You know, so when you spray the spray glue on there, it'll just adhere to it better. And before you spray it, just make sure you sand it down a little bit, get some of the loose rust or dirt on it off of it, and then you can just uh, spray it black. So, and then this is the mechanism. Um, and uh, to take this handle off, it's just like the door handles on the early bugs. There's a little hole in here that has a pin in it that holds this on. You're gonna need a uh, just a little a little nail a long nail that's that's small in in, uh, in thickness and then you get to just want to drive that uh, that pin out of there so you can take the handle out and then you'll see there should be a spring in there uh, I'll show it to you we're, we're going to take it off in a second okay continuing on here just describing what you need I forgot to mention too this is the big bow that is for the front this attaches to this big mechanism on top and this is going to slide into the the header part of your rag top. Uh, I'll show you how to do that. And you see here, there's like a seal on here. 
it's kind of cruddy so we're going to probably take this off with a scraper and I have some new um, material you can use to to put on uh, a new weather stripping material you could just get it at your local hardware store and it's about I don't know half inch in thickness and you just kind of put it all the way around the perimeter of the, of the bow the outside perimeter and I'll show you what that's for anyway uh, the other thing I want to point out is <clears throat> on these mechanisms here this pins see this pin this one's actually busted this is the pin that goes into this section in here I don't know if you can see that see this see that hole right here this pin goes in there and this holds down the bow a lot of times they're either missing or they're broken this one we had was actually frozen in and we couldn't get it out so what we had to do was we had to take one the one side of the bow off the header bow so we could at least get it off a little and then we basically just got a drill and we drilled out the back end where the threads are sticking because you can't you can't screw down this way I don't know if you can see that down this way because you got this long shaft to drill through you can't you won't be able to do that so on the other side where there's just a short end of threads it's maybe like a quarter inch in thickness of threads that stick up from this little dowel type uh, uh, screw here so we drilled that out and then what we did was we tapped new threads uh, that were six millimeter threads and we were able to tap through and uh, and get it out so and uh, so what you do is if you can't find these sometimes they're like I said they're either missing or they're uh, you know they're frozen in there but if they're missing and you can't find these to buy uh, you can make your own we got here you know a six millimeter uh, bolt and you can get some copper tubing to actually slide over this and then so you have it looking like a dowel type screw here and then that copper tubing will be able to slide through the mechanism that you need I mean they do I think BFY sells these if you did want to get them um, so that that's an option there if you have any questions just you know give me a holler but um, alright so what we're going to do now is we're going to clean this off um, and we're going to I'm going to show you a couple things we're going to take this handle off and I'm going to paint this get it nice and clean and you see there's teeth here there's grippers just like we had in the rag top that hold the headliner in here there's a plastic strip just like in the the car holds this plastic strip in and then what's going to happen is is the headliner is going to wrap over these screws and over this section where the handle goes and uh, what I do is I put some more foam down here and you're going to want to do that like we're doing like the padding the, the carpet type padding because you don't want the headliner to go over these screws because you're going to wind up seeing the screw heads through the headliner and it's going to look bumpy so we'll put some padding on that to cover those to, to cover the imperfections there um, because you want the headliner to look nice and clean and straight so alright so let's, uh, let's get to work just got to hammer this pin out drive that out back end Oop. collar and then you need this as another piece this goes on top of course so try to remember how it goes and there's your spring it's good to put these in a can if you got a, a can nearby with this handle what we're going to wind up doing is just again get some Brillo and clean all this uh, oxidized uh, look off of it and uh, just use a cleaner that should shine up nice it's a little pitted but we're still going to use this one Gonna tape up the uh, the catch here. I don't want to paint it black or anything. If you want to clean that off too, you can. Just tape that up. If 
before I do any sort of painting or whatnot, I'm just going to take out, open up these grippers and take out the old, part of the old headline is still caught in there if you can see here. See that? Just going to take that out. Good old screwdriver. Careful with them, they might bust because they might be kind of weak. Just a little bit, you got to open it, that's all. Okay, so all I'm doing right now is just, uh, I got a wire brush that you can pick up at a hardware store, um, they're pretty common, and just basically scraping off all the loose rust. And then uh, if you don't have an air machine, uh, just basically go get those uh, computer air cans to blow off dust and uh, blow off all the loose rust and wipe it down. And then uh, just a basic uh, gloss black paint uh, to paint over. Uh, the bow. It just adheres to blue better when it's, uh, when you have nice shiny paint on there. And then I'm taking off this old spongy seal that's uh, also at the front header bow. We're going to put our own seal on there. Uh, we'll basically use a weather strip uh, seal that you can pick up at um, a hardware store. It's, it's sticky on one side and it's spongy. I'll show you how to do that. And just basically getting off uh, a lot of the old glue uh, that held on the old ragtop material to the bow. It's just better to take the old glue off because uh, new glue on top of old glue won't uh, work too well. So uh, you want to try to have uh, the cleanest surface you can. Um, after you scrape it down, I, I usually just get a, a solvent cleaner or whatnot, and you, with a Brillo pad, and just scrub scrub it off to, to make it nice and clean. And you can see here, just again painting the bows up, jet black. Uh, just to make it look nicer. You know, you don't have to do that, but... Uh, and then here, this is like a metal polish cream that you can find at any AutoZone or uh, Auto Parts store. Um, and I'm using it on the rails here uh, with the Brillo pad. And it'll, you know, take off a lot of the oxidation that has, you know, has caused... Uh, to has uh, made it happen over the years, you know, from, from sitting out in weather or whatnot. And you see it puts out a pretty good shine. Um, if your rails are really that bad, you can pick up a new set of rails. Uh, WolfsburgWest.com will actually have new sets of rails. Okay, so I'm about to put these rails down uh, for the ragtop. And uh, before I screw them down, um, you want to get one of these little pokers in here and kind of line up the hole with the, uh, the threads because the threads actually slide uh, inside the, the body here. And uh, when, you, when you bolt these uh, the rail down, don't bolt it down too tight because you're going to want to be able to move this back and forth to adjust it until it's finally ready. So just every hole kind of line up and look into the threads. I don't know if you can see in there. Now once you have the rail lined up with the holes in the chassis, uh, you're going to want to get yourself a set of these screws. The car should either have them in them when you get them, when you get the car, or you might be missing these. Wolfsburg West uh, sells these screws. If you have a couple left over from the, from the car, you can maybe take these to the hardware store and see if your hardware store has um, a set of these. Uh, but they may not, so you can go look at uh, Wolfsburg West and they would have them. Um, so like I said here, once you start putting it down, don't put it down too tight. You want to leave it loose just a couple turns just to keep it in there because you want to be able to slide the rail back and forth see I can still slide this back and forth this that still has to be adjusted until you put the back rail in once that back rail is in and it's lined up here then you can tighten it down but you got to remember you, you have to slide the bows in here first without this on Okay, so in this section, you can see I picked up some material uh, from the hardware store, and it's like a weather strip material, and we're going to place it down on the front section here of the bow. And the reason we do that is because you want some sort of a spongy um, resistance when the front bow is going to be tightened down and closed uh, when the ragtop closes. Uh, you don't want the metal going right to... Um, the top of the car. You want some sort of a resistance. So basically it, it's sticky on one side 
and you just want to move it all the way around and go slow you want it to be lined up right on the edge of the front bow this stuff is pretty cheap too I mean it's it comes in rolls there's many different sizes but this is like a guess like a you know quarter inch in thickness and so just press it down firmly with your thumb and then when you're all done you just pull off the top piece and uh, you're ready to go and that's that now here's the next section where I said the nylon rollers usually go I still have the old ones here that I'm just going to put back on but if you do lose them you can either get that kit uh, that I just showed you or you can actually again at the hardware store they will sell nylon rollers so they slide off pretty easily that's the only thing I mean they, they, they can come off but now what I'm doing here is kind of the same material that I used in the headliner around the windows and the pillars and whatnot is uh, that spongy material, the carpet padding, and I'm putting it on top of the the front bow, the front mechanism rather. And I want to cover up those screw holes. And I also want to cover up the grippers. Again, you don't want to show the grippers through the headliner when it's tight. So that's why I put this padding down. Now I'm just gluing, this is the back bow, and I'm basically adding padding to that as well. Just basically put it on there and I cut it right off. You don't have to do it for the back bow, but I, I like to. I'm also going to be doing it to the uh, front bow and putting that, that uh, material on as well, just to give it some more posh and to make it look nice when it's on the car.